and welcome to your practice. So we have an hour here to really relax on our chairs. So feel the cushioning right underneath you. And then use your monkey feet. So whatever you're using in front of you, it can be a rolled up. If you don't have a bolster, you don't have the luxury of a bolster, you can roll up a blanket and it can be right on the floor in front of you. And you can call that your bolster. I have a bolster, which is a long cushion with a blanket on top. And then with your feet, just bring it right on top and as you start to settle in through your feet, heel toe them to where you feel that the heels are a little bit downward and the toes are upward. It might feel like it's about somewhere hip distance to shoulder distance apart. And then rest your back and notice how you feel. You can close the eyes, you can have your hands on your lap. And then once you close your eyes, sense from the inside out, right from the top of the knees, since your feet are on that height, and I'll bring the two blocks by just to show you the height of the bolster for me. It's nice to have the knees quite a bit higher so that the femur bone, the upper leg bone comes downward into the socket and then when you rest your back into the chair and close those beautiful eyes you can feel a little bit of weight coming down in the seat. Give the toes a little wriggle and then relax all the effort in the lower half, the upper half the hands can be down on the lap or you might prefer to have the knuckles heavy if you're warm. A gesture of receiving. When the palms are down, you might feel a little grounded, a little more present, a little bit more of that earthiness. And then notice how the body is breathing here. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And then out through the nose or the mouth. Again, in through the nose. And out through the nose or the mouth. One more cleansing breath in through the nose. A natural sigh, maybe. Then in through the nose. And out through the nose. As we call in our good friend, the Ujjayi breath. Which translates as victorious. So notice that quality on the inside. What is that victorious feeling for you? victory? Does it feel like a heightened energy? In yoga we call prana, this vital life energy that flows through you. On any given day it could feel very calm and sometimes it feels like a vibration that's way up there and you feel charged. Notice what it's like in this moment as you breathe in and out through your nose. If nasal breathing isn't available for you, if there's any blockages, any congestion, whatever it is, leave it off to the side. Stay with us through your visionary skills. And then come and visit it again revisit and notice if there's any subtle changes. <clears throat> mm. 
Notice the breeze at the back of the throat, a broadening and widening as the back of the throat starts to sink back. Then drop your awareness down to the base of the spine, our root chakra, right there, that ruby red. <clears throat> Let's ignite this area like you have to do go to the bathroom, you hold. You feel a gentle lift of the pelvic floor. Notice what that feels like. Very soft, very subtle. This is our root lock. Very protective. If your lower back is sore, any discomfort, you come into the next lock. In yoga, we call them bandhas. So on your next natural exhale, float your awareness to the navel and allow it to come a little closer to the spine without force or struggle. So just a light little awareness. Inhale, let the belly round. And as you exhale, Float the navel center a little closer to the spine. So if your lower back is sore and you're needing to bend down, bend the knees more, come into this bandha, this lock, the navel. Allow the breath to truly hold you. Let the awareness sweep through the body now. On your inhale, fill the belly, sweep your awareness down through the feet, all the way down into the earth. Your earth star is right there, we'll gather up that earthiness and as you exhale all the way up above the crown as we connect to our source. Inhale nice and full and deep. Allow your awareness to move downward. Exhale all the way up as we align with all the chakras. Inhale nice and full and deep. Feel the awareness float down easily, effortlessly as you exhale all the way up through the crown. This conduit between heaven and earth now. Notice what you're made up of as you breathe like this two more times. Last one. As the breath flows out, relax the back body. Feel all the way to the fingertips, to the elbows that sink down, all the way up to the shoulders. Sweep your awareness down the back body where it's resting in the chair to the sit bones. Feel that weight of the sit bones to the knees, from the knees to the heels. Does one heel feel a little lower? Notice the toes. This is a beautiful spot to form our awareness, our intention for the practice. I like to think of it as a magic carpet inward. So what is that for you? What is going to lift your practice today? Maybe it's calling in that peace to what is, to exactly where we are. As we call in, our in, or actually we nudge out 
our inner otter. And we come to allow this playfulness. And when we take care of ourselves exactly where we are as we playfully come through the body, using the chair as our prop, as our support. So how about one more breath just like that? And then go ahead and take the chin down to the chest. Roll one ear over to the shoulder. Where that ear is pointed, take that arm up towards the ceiling, wrap it around so that the fingers might be touching the top of the ear. And we're going to come into saying yes. So with the eyes closed, gently point the nose downward slowly and then back to the center of the room. The hand can have a gentle heaviness to it. What are you saying yes to in your life? Yes to more playfulness. Yes to all the love all around us. To become that true receiver, open and allow. Yes to all that good food that's starting to grow here. Yes to this. So how about one more? Leave the nose pointed down and go ahead and take the hand that was on top over to the other shoulder. Cross it over the chest and take that hand down to the floor. So here we are, nose pointed to the elbow, downward, hand right onto the opposite shoulder now. Then take that shoulder up, feel the hand on it, take that shoulder back, all the way down, and forward. Up, back, down and forward. And now see if you can fluidly move in that circular motion. Maybe a little smaller. And then the other direction. And one more. Now relax, and the hand that's on the shoulder, reach it to the ceiling. Let the head come to center as you do so. Then rest the palms on the lap, eyes are closed. Feel from shoulder to shoulder through the collarbone. Notice the length. For me, one shoulder feels like it's vibrating. Like it has a lot of electricity in it. And the, it feels like that energy is floating all the way and sharing to the other. Notice what it's like for you and where it travels to. Maybe up the neck, to the back of the skull, to the ears, to the center of the brain. To where you think that is. That laser beam connection between the brow the top of one ear to the other, come to that intersection. Take a deep breath there. Exhale it all out. And one more in. And then go ahead and take the ear to the other shoulder. Where it's pointed, take that arm up towards the ceiling, wrap it around the crown. It might have a little bit of weight by the top of that ear. And then start to say yes to whatever you're inviting 
into this practice, this full range of motion, some creative movement so that any discomfort can find its way out. So the new length can take its place. Fully hydrated. And maybe one more on this one, leave the nose pointed down. Take the hand that's on the top of the head on the opposite shoulder. That arm comes down to your side. Nose pointed to the elbow. Then lift the shoulder into the hand. Let it come backward and downward. Then forward, up in all four directions. Notice what that's like. Up, back, and down. And then now start to smooth it out. And does it feel fluid-like? What does it feel like for you? Are there any places you skip over? As you experience this, notice the other direction and what it's like to shift that direction. Is it easier? Is it the same? And how about one more like this? And then the hand that's on the shoulder, reach it to the ceiling. Feel the head come to center. Knuckles heavy or palms down. Eyes are closed. Feel into those shoulders. Notice what you notice. Do they feel bigger than they are? Can you feel the sensation move into the spinal column? All the way up into the center of the brain this highlighted area. Take a deep breath here and a deep breath out. A deep breath in and a Then go ahead and move forward in your chair just a wee bit. From here, we're going to bring um, the bolster or whatever you're using underneath your feet over to the side and leave one foot on it. The other foot, clear the runway. Just clear the surface so that we have a little bit of space here. And just notice one leg down with the eyes closed and one knee up. And then start to tap the toes of the foot that's down. Tap them out and then tap them inward. Eyes are closed. Two more times out and then in. Last one. And then pause. Feel the top of that foot. Notice the energetic quality and where it moves to up the shin. And then leave the toes down and start to bounce with the heel. Let it really pound the floor. Inward and then outward. Dust off your visionary skills. And if we were in the sand, what would this look like? And then one more out and in. And then pause and feel all around the ankle, all around that foot, up through the lower leg, possibly to the knee. From here, hop the whole foot. Let it come up and down. Notice the core. This is where you might want to pull in and up on that pelvic floor. 
and the navel center. And then allow the foot to come outward and inward. Two more times out and then in. Last one, leave it out, leave it right there outward and take the other hand to it. And just feel this shape, one knee up, one knee down. We're going to fold over the leg that our hands are on. So take a deep inhale, feel the length through the spine, through the palate, through the crown. Exhale, lower the heart and then the head. Feel the back of the heart rise first, the head second. Take a deep inhale, heart lowers first, then the head. The back of the heart comes up and then the head. One more, take a deep breath in. Exhale, fold like a waterfall all the way back up 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 let yourself get those monkey feet and take your bolster back to center both feet right on top rest them as quick as you can without hurrying or rushing hands down on the lap feel from the knees to the sit bones from sit bone to the other from one to the other, from knee to knee, all the way through to the heel. Notice the vibrating quality of the legs, the back body, all the way to the shoulders. And one more breath, just like that. Then go ahead and sit up Take the bolster over to the other side, leave one foot on top. The heel will remain down while you feel this shape and allow the toes to tap. Become playful with this tap. And if you have music on your end, to the music. Inward and outward. One more inward and outward and then pause that effort leave the toes down and start to hop the heel out and then in and outward inward and one more And let's take a brief little pause here and scan that area from the foot to the top of the foot, the sole, all the way through the shin to the knee. And let's go ahead and lift and lower the whole entire foot up and down like it's bouncing. Let it come outward and then inward. Nice and soft, outward and in. And now this next one, leave it out and pause there. Feel from the knee to the hip as it's outward and go ahead and stack the hands onto that top of the thigh. Take a deep breath and feel the length through from the sit bones up the spine, through the palate, through the crown. Exhale as you fold. Head gently lowers. Back of the heart first. Head second. Exhale lower. Inhale up. Like a waterfall. Exhale fold. Inhale all the way up. And how about one more for good luck? Exhale, fold. Inhale up. Ha! Oh. 
then go ahead and just leave the bolster off to the side. Your back isn't resting on the back, but the eyes are closed for a brief moment so that you can feel the weight coming through the shoulders that feel like they might be stacked right over the sit bones. The chin parallel with the thighs and the floor. Take a breath as you experience this shape. Then your hands are like hooks. Bring them right on the top of the knees. Hook them right there. We're going to come into our cat and cow like this. So um, feel that inhale when you're ready and let the heart come through. Chin upward, arcing the spine. And as you exhale, leave the hands where they are, chin to chest, round, and tap the chair, maybe even press. Inhale, arc, a beautiful back bend. And as you exhale, slowly round. And now bring all your attention to the shoulders. As you inhale, let them become broad and wide. As you exhale, let them feel like they're coming towards each other as the chin comes into the center. Inhale, the heart shines through, shoulders broad and wide. Exhale, like we're hollowing. And how about one more like that? Take a deep breath and arc. Exhale round. And then relax and soften. Notice how that feels. Right from the shoulders through the sit bones. Notice that spinal column all the way up. And one more breath, just like that. Then from here, we're going to come into our spinal column um, side bending. So you might like to grab a, a yoga block onto your side. If you don't have a yoga block, that's okay. You will thread your hand right in front of the navel, hang on to the outer edge of the leg or the chair. So wherever you are, gently now, either hand into the yoga block or hand right off to the side, the other arm comes up and then down, word, like you're painting a rainbow here. The fingers can move and glisten. colors all around you. That top elbow can bend. As we come out of rigidity, as we let this melt and dissolve, may all the places inside that feel like they're still frozen melt and dissolve here like snow in the springtime. And one more. As you come up, if you have a yoga block, take it with you and place it on your lap and let your back rest just for a brief moment. Hands on the block. And if there, you don't have a block, hands on your lap. Feel now through the neck, the shoulder. Notice the highlighted area. And take another breath. Ha! <sighs> and then we can come on over to the other side. Take the block right over. Reach through the other arm. And then allow it to come upward and downward. So if the hand is in front of the belly and it's hanging on to the other leg, same. 
That other arm is painting the rainbow. Allow the fingers to move. Notice how you feel. And then close the eyes. And notice where the nose wants to point. Does it want to point downward in the center or down to that lower arm? To the side that you're bending to. Have some fun here. Become playful. And one more breath. And then relax and soften. You can bring the back into the chair. Feel both the edges of the body, right from the sit bones, up one side to the shoulder, the neck. You can orbit the whole exterior all the way down the other side. And one more breath as the body absorbs all of that goodness. Oh, let's come into a little bit more movement. So um, we'll come into a twist. So walk your feet over to one side of your chair. It really doesn't matter which side because we'll come on over to the other. And then take the hands up and place them right on the back of the chair. Take a deep inhale looking back. And then exhale one arm right to the center of the room. You'll know which arm right away. And then all the way to the back of the chair. And then all the way back center. Let's marry this with our breath. Take a deep inhale center. Exhale all the way, both hands on the back of the chair. Inhale center. Exhale, both hands on the back of the chair. And one more. And then allow the whole torso to come back to center. Feet on the floor. Hands on top of the knees. Eyes are closed. Feel and notice that ringing out quality and what that where do you feel that in your torso? On both sides? Do you feel it more in your shoulders, your hips? And then let's walk the feet over to the other side now. Bring both hands to the back of the chair. Just a few breaths here, feeling and noticing the squeeze. Take the arm that's closest to the knees now and swing it to the center. And then all the way back. And then back to center, and now we'll marry it with the breath. Take a deep inhale there. As you exhale, twist all the way. We unravel as you inhale to center. Like a corkscrew, all the way twisting. Both hands on the back of the chair. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. And one more. And then unravel and let the feet come right back to center. Observe with the eyes closed here for a moment. The edges 
all the way wrapping around the rib cage from the spinal column all the way to the front. Maybe for you it's the hips or the shoulders, the neck. One more breath just like that. As we invite this new cool crisp breath to come in and cleanse. Beautiful. So both feet are on the floor now. We've moved the spinal column in, in all directions. Let's go ahead and interlace your fingers underneath the right knee and then give it a little lift off of the floor. Take one hand to the ankle and see if it'll come up. Know that if it won't come up onto the knee, that's okay. You can take a bolster over to your left top of the foot and rest the foot there. Just like it's, it's, um, it can be on its side if you flex that foot. So keep it active so that the baby toe edge is active coming down in the bolster so it protects the knee. If that doesn't feel good, then just cross it right over the top of that bottom ankle. So this one's called Seated Pigeon. So here we are, just a light little sway of the torso so you can feel the weight shift from sit bone to sit bone. Very soft sway. It's a micro movement. A light tick-tock of the torso. So we'll bring the torso over to one side, forward, over to the other side, and back. Like a circular motion, side, forward, over to the other side, and back. And now see if you can smooth that out. So if the spinal column was that golden stir stick here, the pelvis was the bowl, here we are on the outer edges. And then now the other direction, circle the torso. Notice the shift in weight from one sit bone to the other. And then pause in the center. Like you're looking at your top foot, circle it with the hand. So the hand can circle the foot. And then the other direction, feel the warmth of the hand on the foot. And then pause that effort. We're going to come into prayer twist. So take your right, our right leg is up. Take the right hand on that big toe edge. Follow it to the foot. Flip the knuckles there. That could be your prayer twist right there. Or you can bring it up, the hands up. One elbow up, one elbow down, so the left elbow feels like it's stacked right over the other elbow. Looking at the thumbs. Take another breath wherever you find yourself. And then we'll come right out of this. So interlace the fingers right behind the back of that right knee carry that foot close to the floor about an inch away and then drop it let it go two more times like that interlace under the knee lift drop and then one more lift let it drop then scan the body in a seated scan here 
all the way up that right side from the toes to the heel, from that heel to the back of that right knee, from that knee to the hip, hip to hip, all the way down the other side to the knee, all the way down to the heel. Take another breath right there. And ha. Ah. So go ahead and interlace right behind that left knee. Give it a little lift up towards the belly, as high up as you comfortably can. And then take that ankle over that knee. Option to heel toe that bottom leg outward to bring it lower or leave it stacked, knee over ankle thereabouts. And just notice how that feels. And then start to sway from one sit bone to the other. Know that you can visualize all this if it's too much. So as you come outward, pause, come forward, over to the other side and back. So now we're coming in a circular motion with the eyes closed. You can witness the sit bones, the weight on the sit bones, forward, side, and back, and now a circular motion. It might be smaller. Notice how you feather into sensation and you might feather out. Or is there a cost, constant sensation in this for you? And then the other direction. What is that like? And one more. And then pause that effort. Take the hand on the foot. Feel now the warmth as you start to circle the toes. Let the hand and the arm do most of the work. Circle the foot. Two or three times one way. And then the other direction slowly. One more. Ha! Ah, and then we'll come into our prayer, our prayer twist. So uh, follow now with the left hand down to the foot. The knuckles can come heavy on that foot, palms towards each other, so you can feel now the warmth of the palms. And you gaze at the thumbs. Or you can bend that left elbow and carry the right elbow up above. And then find the place where you can rest, like a shelf. And the nose towards the thumbs, maybe. Feel the breath, nice deep inhale, fill the rib cage, fill this space, expand, and exhale it all out. And one more breath. And then go ahead and sit up. Interlace your fingers underneath that left knee. Carry it towards the floor. Let it drop. And then again, up towards the floor, drop, and one more, and then relax that effort. Beautiful. So now we're going to come up. So just notice where your feet are and let yourself come up right to the um, side of your chair. So the, the leg that's closest to your chair will be your standing leg. And the other leg will, um, will be the one that we move. So feel now the standing leg and gently look down and bend that outer knee. 
and just come to the toes. And then now place both feet on the floor and feel the weight shift to both feet. Let's do a little scan now. So a mountain pose scan, you can hang on to one hand on the chair or you can let the hands now rest on your side. Yogi's choice, let yourself sway towards the toes like you're looking over a cliff, back to the heel, from one edge of the feet to the other. And now the standing leg that's closest to the chair, feel it become nice and long so that we are not collapsing into that hip. And then bend that outer knee. Still feel that strength. And then let's take some sand off the feet. Wipe the inner foot forward and back on the other foot. And then up and down the shin to the top of the foot as you take the sand off the sole of your foot. And then all the way to the back of the foot, to the heel, maybe up the calf, and maybe a little around that baby toe edge if you can. Then come with both feet onto the floor. Feel the shift of balance as we start to share the workload with both legs, hips, all the way up through the pelvis, lifting through the spinal column to the shoulders. Let yourself sway to the toes, to the heels, from one edge to the other, and find that true north, that center for you. Take a breath into your center, your balance, and we'll come on over to the other side. So the standing leg closest to the chair, option to hang on to the chair. Then you bend that outer knee and leave the toes on the floor and just feel that hip. Is it swaying in? Are we collapsing a little bit in it or a lot? Or does it feel strong? And then allow both feet to come down. Share that workload and let's scan in our Tadasana. So either the hands by your side or hang on to the chair a wee bit. Let yourself sway forward to the toes, back to the heel, from one edge of the feet to the other. And then feel that long and strong standing leg, nice and long, grow roots through the sole of the foot all the way up to the hip. Feel that vibration of some sorts. Then bend the outer knee. Start to take the sand off. Swipe that inner edge forward and back. Then up and down from the toes to the knee. Up that shin. Get the sand off the sole of the feet. And then to the back of the heel. Up to the back of the knee and maybe you can get a little bit off of that baby toe edge of that standing heel. And then plant that foot, root that foot, feel the rootedness coming down on both feet as we start to share in this workload. Let yourself gently come forward and back from side to side. Find that center. Take a deep breath. And ha. Then go ahead and take your chair and bring it towards you. Plant your hands right down where you sit. Look at your toes and heel toe them just a wee bit wider. Hip distance apart here. Come into your cat and cow, inhale. And as you exhale, press into the hands, round that spine. Inhale, arc. 
exhale round. Inhale, nice and full and deep arc. Exhale round. And then relax that effort and gently bring one hand to one knee, one hand to the other, and walk yourself all the way up. We're going to come into um, some sun salutations. So go ahead and circle the sun. Arms come up, you can look up, and then fold all the way to the chair. Take a deep inhale, look forward. Exhale, round. Come to a neutral spine and walk the feet as wide as your mat. Take one hand into the center while the other hand gently comes up. You might follow it with your gaze and then all the way down. Trade places. Other hand comes in, other hand up. Feel that twist and then all the way down. Heel toe the feet back. Then inhale, circle that sun, reach up, look up, palms touch. Home again, home again. Let's do that again. So go ahead and circle the sun. Reach up, look up. Palms touch, fold. Walk the feet just a wee bit wider. Take a deep inhale. And then exhale round. Take one hand into the center and allow it, the other hand to float up while you look down. Just a little different variation. Trade places. One hand into the center. Your nose is pointed towards that hand while the other one moves up. Feel what it's like. And then down. Circle the sun. Reach up. Look up. Palms touch, home again, home again. Beautiful. Let's do one more for good luck. Circle the sun. All the way up, look up. Fold all the way to the chair. Palms right where you sit. Take a deep inhale as you arc. Exhale as you round. Take one hand into the center, either looking down first and maybe luxuriously you look up, slow. Trade places, other side, a nice twist. You look down and then maybe look up. As that hand comes down, circle that sun, reach up, look up, palms touch, home again, home again. Beautiful. So we're going to come into um, one more. So bring your hands down onto the chair. We're going to come into our side stretch. That's what it's called. So bring, uh, we're going to leave our left foot up to the chair and our right foot back. Almost like our, um, the, when you look back at the heel, it's mainly back, but the toes are outward just a little bit and then bend that front knee and then straighten wriggle the tail just a wee bit so the hips then you bend the knee straighten and let the hips sway like you have you have a little tail there and then one more the leg that's back, that hand, bring it to the edge, the top of the chair or the side of the chair. And then feel that length from that arm all the way to that back hip. Send it back even more. And then go ahead. We're going to circle that hand down all the way up while you look down and back to the chair. And you can wag the tail. 
Know that you can bend that front knee as you circle. You can straighten it. You can look down or up and then bring it back to the chair and wag the tail. And one more. Circle. Maybe look up. Back to the chair. Pull that back leg forward. And ha, let yourself pause for a moment while you feel into the other side and just notice what that's like for you. And then we'll come straight over to the other side. So go ahead and plant the hands, take the other foot back, one hand on the back of the chair, a little bend to that front knee, a little tap of the knee to the chair, and then lengthen, a little wag to the tail, a little bend, a little wag, and one more. And then when you're ready, circle that arm, so the same arm that the leg is back, all the way to the chair. Feel the luxury of this one. Really slowly moving the spine as you wag the hips from side to side. That might be your favorite part. Or maybe circling the arm feels good around the shoulder, the rib cage. And wherever you are, one more, knowing that front knee can bend. And then come on all the way back to start by s allowing yourself to sit in the chair or yogi's choice to come to the floor if you can and bring your calves on top of the chair. So if you'd like to come all the way back to the start, you would take the blanket off of the bolster, bring it on your lap. If you've chosen to come with your back on the floor and your calves on the chair, use the blanket on top of you. Close those beautiful eyes and notice what you feel as you relax into this shape just a little bit more. the card that I drew for today's practice, divine clarity. When we have clarity, we can be better prepared to see and make better choices. Divine clarity. When we have clarity, we can be better prepared to see and make better choices. Go ahead and allow the breath to deepen. Awareness floats up as you connect to that inner grin here. Feel into your body. Notice how you feel. If you're laying on the floor, come to a comfortable seat. Use the chair. If you're on the chair, Go ahead and bring the palms together in that deep appreciation for yourselves for showing up. Thumbs with a little press onto the heart center. Feel that support. And then a light little bow 
as we pour this goodness out beyond these walls as loving kindness to all. Namaste. And thank you for your practice.